Are you having issues updating your personal device or you are working as an IT system administrator? You are having issues updating your company's device. In this video, I'll be showing you all the different steps you need to actually update and secure your device. The first thing you want to do is to run the Windows Update Troubleshooter. First, first of all, you want to go to your Start menu and then click Settings. When you click Settings, it's going to open Settings on your device. And here you can see in Settings from your system, you want to scroll down. Let me just maximize this. You want to scroll down and then look for Troubleshoot. So click on Troubleshoot. And here we can see we have other troubleshooters. So click on it. And you can see we have the Windows update. So click on Run. And mind you, by clicking on Run, let me just close this and then try it again once more. Click on Run. So what it's trying to do, so by clicking on the Run, it's actually going to detect and fix issue related to Windows update. So this is going to go actually automatically. If, for example, the Windows update service has been um, shut down is going to actually try to restart it. So it's going to actually try to see if there are any issues or, for example, the, your, your device having access to the website of Microsoft. It's going to check and see if all these issues are there and it will actually try to fix it, it itself using this um, troubleshooter. But if no issues are detected, it's also going to let you know that there are no issues with your Windows update. You can see it says, check for Windows update issues detected do you did we fix your problem well i can actually say no and i can say yes so now we can just click yes and then we can close this secondly let me close this secondly you want to actually uh, clear the windows update cache first of all to clear the windows update cache what you need to do is to do the following so you want to go to your start menu and then just enter services.msc and then just click services. In services, you want to scroll down and then check for Windows update. So here you can see we have, if we scroll down a little bit, you can see we have the Windows update. So I want to actually stop this service of Windows update. I just try and st stop the service. So service is being started. And then we can now go and clear the update cache so what we need to do is the following I will need to open a file explorer so let's just leave this for this to, to just stop it's going to stop it has stopped so let's go to file explorer and then i'm going to go to this pc then there we're going to go to windows and then here we have software distribution so look for software distribution so they will click, click on it and then here we have download so all Updates that have been installed on your device have been downloaded to this folder before it will get installed. So what you want to do is actually clear the folder. So I'm just going to say, I'm going to click and click con continue. So you can see it will clear. We have about 679 items, but well, there's a specific one that could not be deleted. We can just click skip for now. So I think this folder has been cleared. And again, what you want to clear in this folder, you want to actually restart the service. And then go back again to Windows Update and try to update your device and see if the update will continue. So what you need to do next is to go to your Start menu and then or just search for, let's just search for Update. Check for update. Here we go. You can see it says error encountered. And this error was encountered because I shut down the Windows service and then I also deleted the cache folder of the Windows update. But mind you, this is actually being managed through by my organization. So I'm using Microsoft Intune to manage this update. That's why you see I don't have the option to actually retry it myself. But after some minutes, this will actually retry and see if it could actually download the Windows update again. And you can see the, the, there's a message that says we could not complete the install because an update service was shutting down. So, so it was saying that there was an update, the, the Windows service was actually shut down. That's why this could not be completed. 
So after trying all these multiple steps and your problem is still not fixed, what we want to do is we want to actually check for corrupted system files. So corrupted system files can cause update errors. So if you, if we now use the SFC, that's a system file checker, and also we'll, there's also what we call the deployment image imaging service and management tool, so we can actually use this to fix the issue. So what you want to do is the following: you want to actually go to your search menu and then let me close let me close the windows update for now and then go to cmd and i want to open the command prompt as an administrator so just right click or we can just run as administrator yeah so it's going to open the cmd as an administrator and then we want to type the following i'm going to type sfc that's a system file checker slash scan now so this is actually going to check my device if there are any errors um, any errors and it will actually try to fix it it says beginning the system scan so this process will take some time so let's just wait for this to start to continue and then come back again when it has been completed you can see it's going to go from one percent to about hundred percent so here you can see that it says window resources protection did not found, find any integrity violation. So if any integrity violation was found, it, was, it would have actually tried to actually fix it. So next, we want to actually run the DISM command to actually check if our system is okay. So first of all, you want to run to check, you want to run the following command. Let me just paste this. That's this command to check there is a DS i am online and then you can see say the command store cor corruption no co component store corruption detected the operation completed successfully well we want to also do a kind of a scan we want to also scan the system let me just no i think we need to do the following just just cancel that and then enter the scan health and enter the following and again, this is actually going to try to check, scan the system, and see if there are any corrupted, cor uh, corrupted components that are, that will be found. If no components, corrupted components are found, it's going to actually tell me that uh, no components to corruption detected. So let's just wait for this to actually scan our system and check if there are any corrupted files. And again, you can see it says the operation completed successfully and no component store corruption detected. And lastly, if, for example, um, some corruption was detected, you want to enter the following command. You want to actually try to restore your system. So restore head is actually, actually try to restore the system and try to fix any corruption any component store that are corrupt so let's just wait for this to complete and then go back go to the next step to try to see how we can actually fix our windows update so here we go you can see it says the restore operation completed successfully the operation completed successfully but at the same time but mind you you know there is no component store corruption detected so definitely um there was no need to restore for the restore health so in case you actually there's a component stock was corrupted then we need to enter the restore health so the next one actually want to actually um, try to reset the windows update component so if you've tried all these steps i've mentioned and it's the problem is still not fixed then you want to actually try the following First of all, you want to open the command prompt. Let me just clear this. And I want to stop the Windows Update service. So you want to enter net stop Windows Update service. That is for short. And then hit enter. See, so the Windows Update service is not started. More help is available. So you can see it's not started. So it has already been stopped. So what you want to enter, the next command you want to enter is the following. So I'm just going to be entering this one by one. We're going to actually stop the following service as well. The background intelligence transfer service is not started it has been stopped and then the, we're going to stop this following as well and it says trying to stop the cryptography service is stopping and this was actually successfully stopped so then we want to actually make sure that we actually change the following 
we want to actually make sure that the distribution folder is being changed. So we're going to use this command. So because so to be able to change, okay, let me go to File Explorer. So in File Explorer, I'm going to go to this PC. And here we have, on our Windows, we have a software. There's a, let me just go to the software folder. You can see we have our software distribution folder. So you have the option to actually delete this folder. But we can try to actually rename this folder. And let's see, you can see it has been renamed to old. So this folder is going to be renamed to old. And also, we're going to also rename the cat's root folder. So this is under system 32. I'm just going to hit enter. Okay. Enter, and you can see it has been, we didn't receive any error message, which, which means it has been renamed. And then you want to start the Windows Update service again. So by starting the Windows Update service, just watch, this is going to, there's a new software distribution folder that will be actually created. So it says the Windows Update service was started successfully. And then we're going to start the following as well. So it's starting the background intelligence service is being started. And then we're going to start, start the last cryptography service so uh, let me just try to do a refresh here and you can see we have a software distribution folder has been created a new one has been created and it will after some time to start downloading other required update service so well if for example this did not fix the problem i believe by doing this your problem will be fixed but if the problem is still not solved you want to actually Clear check if you have enough disk space on your device. For example, you can see here, you have about 63.7 gigabytes is still free, so which means I have enough disk space. Probably that could be the issue. And again, you want to actually manually install the update, you can go to the website of Microsoft and then download that specific update that is failing and then try to install it manually. Or you can actually disable the antivirus or firewall temporarily to check if the update is going to start downloading and get installed. And I believe, and I believe that if all this has been done and then the problem is still not fixed, then what we can actually do is we can actually try to go to a restore point to when our device was working. We can decide to just check our device for restore point. If you've not created a restore point in the past, probably you will not be able to restore your device. So if you've created a restore point, you can see, you see the restore point is off. So if you've already configured a restore point, you should be able to actually restore your device to a, a specific date when the update was not having issue. And the last option I want to actually give is for you to reset your device. So let me close this. We can go to settings. Here in settings, we can decide to just look for, let me just look for reset. Here we can actually reset this PC. But our advice is actually going to be the last options you want to do to this device because it says choose to keep or remove your personal files, then reinstall Windows, which means you're going to reinstall Windows, but you can actually keep to, you can choose to keep your personal files then during the re installation of Windows. So this is actually going to be your last option if you've tried everything and the problem is still not fixed. Thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video. My name is Kelvin Johnson and please, if this video has been of any help to you, don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel and if you think there are any questions you want to ask me please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section and i'll reply to your comment in less than 24 hours and if you think there are any other subjects in which you are having issues concerning for example microsoft 365 azure microsoft intune windows server please just leave a comment and i will reply to you as quick as possible my name is Kelvin, Johnson once more, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Bye.